Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos and welcome to This Week in Mythic Plus. This week's affixes are raging, explosive, tyrannical, uh, and of course prideful. This is an interesting week on the calendar because it's kind of one of the few tyrannical weeks that isn't accompanied by some horrific other set of affixes. And it's also kind of sandwiched between some bad fortified weeks that do have some of those harder affixes. Uh, so if we take a look here, right, we've got these weeks beforehand, like Inspiring Storming Fortified, one of the harder fortified weeks, a Grievous Fortified week afterwards, uh, and a lot of the other tyrannical weeks, you know, multiple bolstering tyrannical weeks, multiple necrotic tyrannical weeks exist. There's relatively few that don't have these kind of heinously bad affixes for, uh, uh, for a lot of groups. And this is one of them. So this is actually kind of a, a weird time in the calendar uh, with bad fortified weeks and good tyrannical weeks. And they've reduced the gap between tyrannical and fortified over this patch um, to the point where for a lot of groups, particularly if you're like a weekly 15 gang, this week is going to feel better than last week. And it probably is going to feel better than next week too, uh, provided you are using pride onto bosses to melt them as quickly as possible. That's going to be really important. Uh, is prides onto the hard bosses. Uh, and if you wipe, then you don't have a pride coming into it the next time and it takes twice as long. Things can start to get tough. And there are some hard bosses this expansion. Um, but I would say that this is one of the better weeks for most players uh, that is on the calendar over the, like in this kind of local time frame. A lot of good fortified weeks in the first six uh, weeks of the calendar, but these last ones are a bit. A bit sparse, a bit hard to find any any week that has everything going for it. Uh, and what that means is that for the purposes of like high level key pushing, you're probably not going to see any, not just this week, but next week, uh, the week after. But there is a lot of Mythic Plus esports actually this month coming out, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously the MDI just finished last month, but there's an MDI one-off event called the Great Push, which is kind of like a, a high key version of MDI where a bunch of teams are going to play like five hours a day over three days to try and push as many high keys as they can uh, and as high of keys as possible on the tournament realm. That is happening at the end of the month. But these next two weekends, we actually have community run M plus tournaments, both with their own formats uh, that I think are going to be pretty exciting to watch. So uh, in addition to, you know, on Twitch, being able to watch people do their great push practice, which has already started, uh, this weekend, you're going to be able to watch the Keystone Masters Gauntlet Tournament, which, let me pull up the details of that, is uh, is this kind of cool format where uh, day one, you, or the, yeah, day, so day on the gauntlet, uh, once all the qualifying teams are here, which I think this is the ones that you'll see on the stream, yeah, so tournament day one, tournament day two, um, basically you're going to have like eight teams that, they all do a dungeon, and then the, the slowest team gets lobbed, gets eliminated, and then they all do a dungeon again, and the slowest team gets lobbed, and you just keep doing that. Uh, and there's obviously eight uh, eight different dungeons to get through, so it's a pretty cool format, and that's going to be happening this weekend. So uh, though there might not be high key pushing on live or anything happening this week, it is actually a pretty cool week for M+, and it's a cool month for M+, as well, because uh, not only... So there's that this weekend, and then the next weekend there's this Pro-Am tournament, where there's like... Uh, there's going to be these teams of two pro players, one like influencer and two amateur players uh, that are all playing against each other. Uh, so that should be pretty exciting to watch as well. And then there's the Great Push Proving Grounds and and then the actual tournament itself. So basically every weekend this month, there's something cool and plus wise going on, but not related to the current affixes. The current affixes uh, kind of are not in play at all for those because they're all in the tournament realm. Uh, so... With the current affixes in mind, uh, what is important to keep in mind with Bursting Explosive Tyrannical? So when you have Bursting and Tyrannical in the same week, it is actually a little bit of a different texture than when you have Bursting and Fortified together because mobs can die a lot quicker when Fortified isn't there buffing their health. Um, and that can sometimes lead to Bursting being a little bit more of a problem than it is actually uh, when it's accompanied by Fortified. Because you you know you don't have these kind of natural spots where just everything is dying slower, and so you're dropping stacks. However, the mobs are also less likely to kill you with their casts, uh, and it's usually mob damage plus bursting damage that ends up taking somebody uh, down. So you do need to watch out for that in a couple spots. One spot in particular, Plaguefall, that big slime room at the front of Plaguefall, 
Uh, that's one that you need to watch out for. Uh, that has all those, all 20 of those slimes burst when they explode, so uh, you do want to watch out for that. Explosive, not too much to mention about that. Uh, of course, this expansion, very easy affix to deal with. As long as somebody puts one global of basically any kind into them, uh, they will explode, so, or they, will, they won't explode, they will die instead. Um, so pretty manageable set of affixes there. Of course, uh, with bursting, remember most immunities work against them. Stone form, if you're a dwarf. Uh, is very good this week. Mass Dispel, if you have a Priest, is extremely good. And Regular Healer Dispel can be used against it as well. Uh, I know it's pretty late in the in the season, so uh, it's probably old news to a lot of people, but just in case it's not, uh, there it is. And if you haven't, if you're kind of coming into M+, and you haven't, uh, haven't been following it the whole season, I actually did a video 12 weeks ago, the last time we had this set of affixes, where I go through all 12, or all eight of these dungeons, and talk about what to look for in them. Uh, so go check that out if you're interested in seeing more. Uh, and if you're interested in these routes, they're available on Raider.io. There will be a link in the description. Uh, we're also I'll put a link to that the Keystone Masters tournament that's this weekend as well. Uh, and so you can go and read all about all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the this week in Mythic Plus is pretty good Tyrannical week. Is still a Tyrannical week. Uh, and a lot of high key push teams are busy anyways. There is some incentive to actually learn how to push keys on Tyrannical now um, for anybody that, for everybody actually, uh, which is if you haven't seen this, you know how they're implementing Raider IO score into the in game, into the game itself next season or next patch. It looks like there's going to be some best Tyrannical and best Fortified scores. And I don't know exactly how it's going to work yet. I don't think anybody does. Um, but depending on how they implement that, in fact, Almost regardless, if they implement that in most ways that they could, it will be worth knowing uh, more about how to play and how to how to play at a similar level to how you can on a fortified week on a tyrannical week. So it's a good week to practice, actually. It's a good week to get in there, uh, start blasting some tyrannical keys, because if the affix calendar stays the same, this is going to be the tyrannical push week, uh, almost certainly. Or I guess the, the Raging Quaking one is pretty good, too. Uh, so these are the, this is going to be the tyrannical season, the tyrannical end of the calendar. Uh, is these weeks here so uh, get ready to potentially pick up your tyrannical score next season however that works on these ones i guess this is a pretty good week too okay there's three good tyrannical weeks six ten and twelve um so that's still mostly weighted towards the end of the calendar anyways i'm rambling at this point um so i'm going to end this video hope you liked it come check out my twitch stream twitch.tv slash thanks everybody for watching see you in the next one bye